AI chatbots are a content problem, not a technical problem. So that's a little bit of hyperbole, but not a lot. Chatbots use a type of AI called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. This means they are generating responses based on information retrieved from a knowledge base. That could be a pool of documents, websites, or predefined answers to questions that people thought of in advance. This is why customer service chatbots are usually limited to a very specific series of questions and answers and responses. The technology isn't perfect. We've all heard of examples of chatbots going off the rails and giving crazy answers and doing all kinds of silly things. But the problem really lies in the content that the AI uses to generate its answers and responses. Here's an example. We recently built a chatbot for a university's dining program. When asked to provide vegan dining options, it gave chicken nuggets as an option. That's obviously wrong. This was happening because the source material was listing food in dense paragraphs of text that were hard not just for the AI to understand, but for people to understand. That was the source of the problem. When we restructured the content to make food groupings more obvious, it gave correct results. So what was happening? Poorly structured content is challenging to read and understand. This is just as true for AI, for machines, as it is for people. When you improve the structure of content, you improve it for machines and people alike. Everyone and everything benefits. The structure of content is improved by ensuring that it is logically collected and presented, that it is easily scannable, meaning you divide it into sections, you group like with like, you add headings that make sense, you make it scannable, by adding proper formatting, by putting it into bulleted lists. It's the age old problem of garbage in, garbage out. And the changes that we were making to the content in that case, not only improved the readability of the content for people and the usability of the content for AI and improving the AI search results, it also improved accessibility. It improved search engine optimization. By making good content, by improving the content, it improved it for all of these contexts and vectors not just AI, not just accessibility, not just SEO, not just people, but all of the above. One of the most interesting challenges that we run into with content and AI is the idea of splitting and chunking content. So when an AI is indexing a large piece of content, say an entire web page, it has to split all of that content up into individual chunks. And those chunks have to overlap a little bit in order to understand the context that comes before it and comes after it. So each chunk of content has to overlap just a little bit with the chunk that comes before and after it so that it understands the meaning of what came before and the meaning of what comes after. Otherwise, that individual chunk may not make sense when it's trying to retrieve that information later on in order to give an answer to a prompt or a query that somebody makes. So the degree to which you allow those chunks to overlap can influence the accuracy of the answers that you give. But it also comes at a cost. The more overlap you have between each chunk, the more expensive each prompt or each query can be. So you have to balance cost and accuracy, but you can also improve the accuracy by improving your content. So if you have a smart content strategy and you're really paying attention to things like headers, smart organization of your content, the way that it's presented clearly, and really keeping in mind how people will want to read content, having it make sense to people, which also in turn improves accessibility and improves search engine performance. You will in turn improve the performance of your content for AI.